Heather Hurler, Jeff Carter, Devin, welcome you to another sports catastrophe. Yeah, right. To another China Belt Boxing Tournament. Last tournament in 1929, we saw Tommy Lachlan get himself into the tournament. Now, that's generated here. 1906. Feel like we did 1906. We did. 1916? Let's go with... No, let's see. Let's go 1946. Just after the war. And no, you haven't done 1946. So, yeah. I'll add a fourth tournament in the 40s. So, 1946 it shall be. E. Jones. I gotta make sure that E. Jones is in this tournament. Because E. Took second. Finally, Monroe. I know, I'm making the weird one. Finally, Monroe. Ready, Salas is a page 25 guy, so. So, I'm gonna go with E. Jones. There's three pages of him. But, there he is, Billy Jones. So, he will face Battling Monroe. I know it doesn't look like. Bradley Monroe's a good boxer, but fuck that shit. Jackie Brown, 1946. Hey, he's good. Alright, so he gets Galvani, Jack London, Jimmy Evans, Joe Curcio. Jimmy Evans is page 23. Let's go page 1. Let's go with Jimmy Evans versus Tiger Jack Fox. Gustav Ader. How many fights does he have? None. Okay. Jimmy Carter and Silla. The lot. Yep. Maxi Berger. I don't think I spot seven times. Pat Valentino. Has he fought? Nope. Page three. Johnny Bracken. Fight Wars faces. Bosco Toads. So that's page 19, 3. Let's go with Freddy Apos, Apostoli. That's Gus Lucinovich. Belusco, page 26. Archie Moore, I'm surprised. He's that low, like 3 and 1. Everyone forgot about him. You get Sandy Sadler. Primo Carrera. What's his record? Oh, yes, in five yet. Yeah. Hmm. Billy Kahn has been in six fights, so he gets the chance. Tony Chavez. Page 15. Page 15. Al Holstack. Gets a chance. Against Tommy Forte. Oh, there's Holstack. Well, not anymore. The Canadian, Fernando Gallion against Andreal. Freddie Dawson. I think he's been in too many fights. No, he's one and two. And thank you very much. Azevedo, page 12. Oh, you're so close, man. Joe Baxi against Art Aragon. So that's it. And Billy Jones gets in as a wild card. So, a pair of Canadians, three Italians, that's pretty impressive. Cuba's got a pair of these guys in the first post-war thing, if you will. Two semifinals, and the final we shall do. First semifinal is between Jimmy Bivens and Gus Lucenovich. Uh, let's see, Danny Machard Mancini, the cutman for Lucenovich. From Cleveland Arena, Henry Jones, your announcer, Lou Murray, your referee, Gary Krauss, Crystal Wright, and Mike Ross, your judges, Don Cost, your ringside poet. So Bivens started out 0-1. Um, well, he's in lifetime, he was 86-25-1. He fought some good guys. And he was inducted to the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1999. He lost to Marcel Sardin a while ago in the first ever tournament, I think. Right? Yeah, good. And then he's beaten Tiger Jack Fox, Gustav Ader, and Luis Galvani. And Gus Lozanovich. Died in 1964. 60, 14, and 5. 
the light heavyweight champion, the Sedovich. Kelly Fox, Anton Romero. He decision, Freddie Ops, Apostoli, Johnny Braddon, and then TKO Jimmy Carter. Not that Jimmy Carter. Although, sometimes I wish he was TKO'd. Anyway, let's play the bet. Give me some set of bitch. It's going to be a good kick. The Batman took the bleeding. Huh. Thank <laughs> you. 
the judges votes are in, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. So, I don't know about that. Bivens had some bleeding, and oh, that's going to be close to the line. Bivens got cross. That's not a bitch. 144, 142. So that's huge. 144, 142. Is it for less than a bitch? Yep. Or it's close to call. You all the punches. Bivens threw better punches. Not down the snout of and had a cut and had the punching accuracy. Well, that was good. Holy guacamole! There's a Canadian in the semifinals and his, his name is Fernando Gagnon. Can't believe it. He faces Archie Moore, but this might be Archie Moore's tournament. Nick Florian, you found Michelle, the battle of the trainers at Miracle Garden in the United States. Ben Bentley, your announcer. Johnny Wright, your referee. Clark San Martino, Walter Caffarini, Bill Graham, your judges. Danny Call Callahan, your ringside expert. Can't believe the Canadians are the semi final. I have rarely seen that. Well, the United States, the old Mongoose, who was legend, the late heavyweight champion, trainer, took out a lot of these guys. He actually was in the semi-final before losing to Harold Johnson on a majority decision. So, well, he beat Pascal Perez. Fernando Gagnon, he decisioned already. Enjoy Maxim. So he lost to Harold Johnson by majority decision. And then he put up a decision against Sandy Sadler and Primo Canera before he came going out whole stock. So that's huge. And the Canadian Fernando Gagnon from East this rally, Quebec. 105 38 Canadian champion. He lost to, well, he beat Don Jordan before losing to Archie Moore by decision. But he has decisioned Maurice Sandrion, and he killed Al Phillips and killed Billy Jones. So that's a huge win when he knocked out Billy Jones. Because Jones was looking to get to a second straight final, but he didn't. He just missed out on the semifinals. But the old mongoose is the heavy favorite to not get any out. Oh, he good. And for now, yeah, he loses. He's still the one to fight. He's not done yet.
A done deal. I feel bad for Dan Young because Archie Moore was still good and another American will win for sure. So I wonder how close Ganya was. Well, he couldn't jab, but he was decent. Look at the panacracy of Dan Young. So now it's Moore versus Lesnanovich. So the Battle of America. Archie Moore, this will be his last fight no matter what. Even if he loses, that would be bad. I think Archie Moore is the heavy favorite. Losnanovich is 4-0 and with a knockout. If Losnanovich does lose, the good news for him is that he will get a wild card spot into the next tournament. Even if it's like the 80s or 90s, Losnanovich will get a shot to fight the next one. Anyway, teams. <clears throat> well, the events at Richfield Coliseum, Chuck Hall, your announcer, Jorge Alonso, your referee, Hilton Whitaker, James Jenkin, and Kenny Chevalier. Will be your judges, Jim Trenso, your ringside expert. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals. In the blue corner to my left, he's a late heavyweight at 5'9 and 175 pounds, hailing from Cliffside Park, New Jersey. He is 4 0 with one knockout. He is Gus Lesnadovich. And in the right corner, he is a late heavyweight at 5'11 and 175 pounds. Hailing from Benoit, Mississippi. He has seven wins, one loss by four tails. He is Archie, the old mongoose Moore. This is a tight thing at Richfield Coliseum in Cleveland. This is it. Must not have mentioned Moore. Who's going to win? Thank you. 
Judges votes are in, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. Well, let's see what the judges say. Scorecards say 145, 141 for Moore. So, let's see if Archie Moore just battled the deficit with Les Nanovich for a win. Here is the call. Here are the scorecards. First up will be Hilton Whitaker. What's that, 144, 141? James Jen Kidd puts it at 145-140. And Kenny Chevrolet puts it 145-141. So big the winner by Universe Decision is Archie the old Mongoose Moore. So the Mongoose does it. Archie Moore with a gigantic win. And he moves on to Group A. Anyway, so Lesnanovich, the good news for him, obviously, is that he will get another chance. Because he's 4-1, and one, he'll still get one more tournament at least. And a guaranteed thing. Look at the punching accuracies by both guys. Under 30%. Well, Lesnanovich tried. Jang Yon won. Maxi Berger actually beat Salah, so good news for him. So two Canadians. One. Berger lost to Carter by UDF's decision, so. And dang on beat Billy Jones. Wow, I can't believe Fernando got one. But he'll be back again sometime. 